Hey guys, it's Boss Tech 7 here. I haven't make, made a video in a while because I've been rather busy you know, with my life. You know, I have a life. But um, really, the th reason I'm here talking to you today is because Apple has just released, I think it was this morning or last morning, I don't really know. I woke up and everybody's just talking about it. But um, they've released the new, brand new system for their Macs. Um, not released it, but they've started talking about it. And what it's called, it's um, OS X 10.8 Mountain Lion. So this new system basically is going to have a hundred, over a hundred new features. I mean, what they've done is they're really bringing over a lot of the iOS features to the Mac system. We have just a full spectrum of applications that I'm going to be going over today that they've plan, they're planning on putting into the system, which is going to be released in late summer. Just so you know, just a late summer release on this system. But right now, if you are a developer, you can go to the Apple Developer account, download a preview of the whole system. You can actually go download just a part of the the full messages application on there too right now go do it download it it's awesome so um a couple of the main things they're going to be bringing over there is um for one they have the notification center a new brand new feature in ios 5 swipe over have all your notifications in there i'm not too sure if i like that uh, i feel like it would take up part of my desktop that i'm working on but we really see it um, how about you tell me what you think of it too because I, I i feel a little iffy on the whole notification center in there but an also, also another thing they're bringing in there is they're bringing full iWork application integration with iCloud, which is a big thing I've been missing. You can sort of rig it right now, but it doesn't sync both ways, and it really just sucks. Um, so they'll be having full iCloud integration with iWork, with all the other features right into Mac OS X, um, which is going to be awesome. They're bringing a full-on reminders application to the Mac, so you can have all your reminders on your Mac system, customize them there, just work on them on your Mac, which is going to be really, really convenient for people who need to get a lot of work done. Also, another big thing they're bringing is iMessage to the Mac. It's going to be called Messages. I'll actually have another video up right after this. It's showing you how to use the new Messages application. But it's really it's going to be awesome. I really wanted this in my Mac since the day they released iMessage. So you can just message any iOS user, iPad, iPod, Touch, iPhone, right from your Macintosh so you can talk to them while you're on your Mac doing your work. Also, another thing they've integrated into the new Mac system that they're going to be releasing is um, is t full Twitter integration just like iOS 5. So you're going to be able to tweet straight from Safari, straight from the main main Apple app built-in applications. Also, they're going to be have um, ability to be put into third-party applications. So you can tweet right from your favorite Angry Birds high score. And another awesome thing besides the Twitter integration is they're going to that's all under a category called share sheets. And what you basically is you're going to be able to share anything straight to Twitter, straight to Flickr, straight to Vimeo videos, um, just straight to a whole bunch of different websites, uh, which is really good. It's going to be amazing, and I'm going to love it. Another thing that they're really putting in is like the, um, a software. It's called Gatekeeper. And what Gatekeeper really is is basically a sort of um, protection on your Mac. So if you it keeps you from downloading malware content, like actual applications, from the web, and will only strictly limit you to downloading applications from the Mac App Store. Now this is kind of controversial, um, but you can turn it off. You can customize it to be only from the Mac App Store, only um, iCloud or Apple ID integrated applications, or just turn it off completely on the new system. Also, the best thing that, in my opinion, has been put into the Mac system is you can now use AirPlay, um, AirPlay mirroring right on your Macintosh with the new system once it comes out. So basically, open up a program, hit a couple buttons. Actually, no, it'll be at the top in a little um, AirPlay symbol, just like your iOS device. Click that. It'll throw your whole Mac right up to your TV, which is going to be sick. I'm really excited for that. And the very last piece of the puzzle they are going to be releasing is Game Center for the Mac, which basically now is, is, doesn't really work that great right now because there's not too many games that are for the Mac, both the Mac and iOS devices. But they're trying to get this push to where they can get a lot more games on the Macs. So basically, um, you can play against any iOS device on your Mac too, if it, as long as it's the same game, through the Game Center, just like you're used to playing device to device on iOS. You now do it device to Mac. So basically, guys, that has been it. This is Boss Tech Seven. I will leave a link right here of my iMessage for Mac video demonstration how to use it once I get that up. So you can look around right here to get that window in there. And to check out that video on how to use it and what awesome features it's bringing. And other than that, guys, check out some of my other videos. Don't forget to subscribe, um, rate, comment, ask me, tell me what you're thinking about the Mac system because I'm really curious um, how y'all are thinking about it because I'm, I'm not sure how well 
some of these things are going to go, but I'm really excited for the new system. I love when they release new software for any of any device, really. So um, don't forget to do all that, and I will catch you all later. See ya.